Savan, I need you to watch the baby tomorrow. I have things to do. Savan, when do you usually get the baby? On weekends. Oh, okay. What's today? Monday. Oh, okay. He's off duty. Come back on Saturday. Tammy, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to Savan. Mm, Versace, you were only two years into motherhood. I would hate for Louis Vuitton to lose his mother because she forgot who she is talking to. It's Louis Vuitton. Either way, you can't afford none of the merchandise. What do you have to do? Oh, hell no. You full of shit. He's off the clock. Find a babysitter. Oh, my God. I can't wait till Tamika come back because she would have made you watch him. You restricted me to weekends only. You did that. So stand on that. But go stand on it outside of the house. Get out. I ain't standing nowhere. Grandma. Brian. Can you please put your homophobe aside and meet Trenton? So who is that? The boyfriend. Oh, no, I can't do that. Mm -mm. Hello, my babies. Grandma Pam, what are you doing here? Well, I just came to make sure my grandbabies were okay. I heard the disturbing news that your mother decided to take a break from her responsibilities and that she left you in the care of a complete maniac. Pamela, don't die today. It's Monday. What can I help you with? I want the boys with their father every weekend. Mm, and I want a man who's tall, dark, and handsome with nine inches and a curve. But I cannot have that. Oh, this is why I question Tamika and her decisions. Because why wouldn't she call me? Why would she leave them with you? Because I'm her mama. And did you forget that your son let his wife sleep with my grandson and then bribe my other grandchild not to tell? What kind of grandmother would I be letting them go back to that house with that horny white woman? It was an isolated incident and my son handled it. However, I do share your concern. So the boys can come stay with me. I would actually love that. Take it back right now. What, Grandma? You haven't let me see Trenton since you got here. You haven't seen Trenton? Tammy, are you depriving my grandchild of his healthy relationship with his boyfriend? This is an abomination. What? What happened? Fine. I will meet that little boy who also has sugar in his tank. I'm fine where I'm at, Grandma Pam. I will be checking in daily. And you will be getting cussed out daily. Where is Kyrie? Who is that? Oh shit, that's the other one. Uh, where y'all brother at? Grandma, Kyrie made you drop him off somewhere two weeks ago and we ain't seen him since. Wait a minute. You haven't seen my 16 year old grandbaby in two weeks and you haven't bothered to check on him? And you don't even know where you left him? Pamela, bitch, you know who you yelling at. All right, now you ain't making very much safe decisions right now. You better find him or I'm calling Tamika. What is I supposed to mean? I ain't scared of her. I gave birth to her. What the hell I look like being scared of something I gave birth to? The hell? Pam, get your ass out of here. You heard what the hell I said. Find my grandma. No, you heard what the fuck I said. Shit. Go find Kyrie. All right, so y'all mama has decided to take a little vacation, you know, with everything that she's been going through and that y'all have been putting her through. She felt it was best, and I do think it is best as well. However, she has put me in charge of y'all, and I don't know why. I have not done this parenting shit in 33 years, so bear with me. All right, now today is my first day. What's going on? I need to pay y'all support. So pay it. What they got to do with me? I don't got the money. My mama usually pay it. Well, why don't you have the money, Savon? Shit, grandma. I don't know. I didn't have a job at the time. I just now got a job. And I, you know, I ain't got paid yet. Oh, well, you gonna have to figure that out on your own. Uh-uh. I didn't lay there and make that child, nor did I have that child. So I ain't paying for that child. She gonna have to just take your ass to court. Shit. What's going on, Brian? Oh, grandma, I ain't got nothing going on. Um, I be getting straight A's in school. I, don't, I, I didn't give my mama any problems when she was here. Um... She do be letting my boyfriend come over every day, though. Now, Brian, you know that gay shit is very much taboo to me. So you still don't accept me being gay? No, but I love you, and I bet not see that little boyfriend of yours anywhere near this house. You're a homophobe. Mm -hmm. I am the queen of homophobes. What else you got? 
Grandma, Brian is just trying to distract you from the fact that Mama makes him pee in a cup so she can test him for drugs. Kendrick was giving him drugs when he lived here. Now, Brian, you would not be the first grandchild of mine doing drugs. Go get the cup. Kyrie is also grounded from all indoor and outdoor activities. For what? No, Grandma. It's me. Okay? I can do no wrong in your eyes. You know that. All I did was set Kendrick up to get him out of the house. That's it. Is she grounded you for getting Kendrick out the house? Somebody I've been telling her to get out the house since he put her house on Airbnb? She grounded you for that? She should have been thanking you. No, Grandma. She grounded him for facilitating the whole thing. I can't even spell the words you just facilitate, facility, but for whatever. Facil felicity. Shit. Y'all know Kyrie is my baby and he is immune from such cruel and unusual punishment. So you are off the hook, baby. You are you ain't on punishment no more. You ain't grounded. Thank you, Grandma. Wow. This is gonna be great. Savon, we need to talk about the baby shower. Grandma, please get rid of her. Samika needs to learn how to lock her doors because let you walk in my shit and I ain't let you in. I'm bearing arms. Now he don't want to talk to you. Get out. I was not talking to you, Harriet Tubman. <laughs> now you listen here, you pregnant taco truck. Do not contact my grandbaby again until you give birth. And don't even contact him then because he really don't want nothing to do with you. Shit. Get your ass out of my house. Where's Tamika? She wouldn't allow this. Well, she's on vacation. I'm in charge. Where your mama at? <laughs> oh, I hope you trip and fall. Tell your mama to come see me. I got something for her ass. <laughs> so you got some... Brian, who you gonna tell? I'm the mama of the mama. So sit your ass there and mind your business. Savon, go get the weed. Carmen, is there a reason your mother is late to my house? She said she just pulled up. Well, she is still late. Savon, you set this up. If this lady dies today, that's on you. Mama, no one is dying today. Good afternoon, Ms. Marisol. I hope you're having a wonderful day. My son spoke to you, Marikandra. It's Marisol. Whatever it is, I needed to respond to my son. Why are me and my daughter here, Tamika's son? I started all of this. We can see that. Tell me something I don't know. Yes, breathe in, breathe out, and stay alive. What I'm trying to say is, I haven't made the best decisions, and I'm sorry that I brought your daughter into this. So what are you going to do about it? All I'm hearing is you apologizing for shit that you cannot change. It's here. It's happening. In two more months, my daughter's giving birth. What are you going to do about it? Well, if you let him finish. Oh, he wasn't finished? Tell him to stop pausing in between sentences and get to the point. Savon, I should have been jumped over this counter. Do get to the point. I recently got a job, and if this baby is mine, mm -hmm. I, I don't like that if. Because you're making it sound like my daughter's some kind of whore. Ella nuka la hira. Ma'am, you can't expect me not to take a DNA test. Me and Carmen were never together. Mira, nosotros tres estamos enamorados. English. This is an American household. Well, English is not her first language. Punta. Okay. Before I mop my marble floors with her ass, Carmen, I need you to translate because I'm pretty sure she just called me a bitch. She didn't. No, me and just Carmen. Get hell of a house that the bottom line is, if this baby is mine, I will step up and be a father. And if it's not, I want an apology from both you bitches. 
in English. Well, you ain't getting shit. Back up the comment that said. Mira, me la puta. Me la puta. Yes, okay, so, okay, so. Which one of you bitches want to step around the counter? Huh? Which one? Matter of fact, hold on. Come on. Go and access my face. The passcode is your birthday. I need to know why I had to have a friend drop me off here when one of you bitches could have came and picked me up from the airport. Mama, please, we have a serious situation that is going on right now that requires your attention. Well, I ain't got no money, so... Mama, we don't need no money. Tariqa, tell your grandmother what's been going on. Grandma, all your grandsons have been trying to make a pass at me. Be specific, you little bitch, because you have yet to answer my question on Kyrie. I already told you I didn't touch Kyrie. Who in the hell are you bucking at, Tarika? Tamika, y'all flew me down here to tell me that Tarika been hoeing with her cousins? Not just her cousins, but Tommy, too. Tommy? My son, Tommy? Your uncle, Tommy? Tarika, that is just foul. But I'm not surprised. You get it from your mama. Excuse me? Well, you slept with my ex-husband, Earl. And now look at your daughter. Sleeping with your brother. <laughs> mama, what are you going to do about this situation? Your granddaughter just sat here and told you she is sleeping with everybody in the family. Tara, I don't know what you expect me to do. If I couldn't keep you, Tamika, or Tanya's legs closed, what makes you think I can keep Tarika's legs closed? Wow, I expect nothing less from you. And you know what? Your ex-husband, Earl, was nasty. He came on to me and Tamika. And both you bitches obliged. Okay, Mama, I believe that ticket was round trip. Do you need somebody to drop you back off at the airport? Oh, well, that is very thoughtful coming from you, Tamika. But no, my dear friend Jasmine will be dropping me back off at the airport. Who? Oh. Cousin, I cleaned the kitchen for you. Curry, I thought I told you to clean the kitchen. Mama, I thought it didn't matter who cleaned the kitchen as long as it got done. I mean, that's what you tell me, Brian and Savon. Oh, it's, it's not a problem, cuz. I just wanted to help out around the house. Kendrick, I would tell my mama what's a problem and what is not. <laughs> Curry, you do know that technically I am an adult. Kendrick, you do know that male, female, infant, child, adult, senior citizen, or unicorn, I will still fight you? Enough! Kendrick, thank you for cleaning the kitchen. What do you want for dinner? You know what? Whatever Kyrie wants for dinner. I want seafood. Do you have seafood money? You got BD money and you make $87,000 a year. You got seafood from the Pacific Ocean money. What is BD money? You still get child support for me and Brian. <laughs> you know what, cuz? We can eat some tomato soup. I saw a few cans in the cabinet. Well, that's too damn bad because all four of those cans are Savans and he's not here, so they will not be touched. You know, I really don't care about this tomato soup situation. Mama, Kendrick, Mama, I already said what I wanted to eat, so why is that being disregarded? You're right. Your brother is gone. But this is my damn house. And everything in this house, I bought. Including that tomato soup that we will be eating for dinner. And Kyrie, start watching your damn mouth when you talk to me. You clearly are watching it for me, so why do I? Kyrie, say something else smart. Try it. Not only am I going to knock you dead in your shit, but I'm going to send you to live with your grandmother. Which one? Tammy. Tamika, I hope you don't mind I let myself in. As a matter of fact, I do mind, Pam. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Start locking your door. I just left my son's house and I saw my oldest grandchild is there. He told me that you kicked him out. Before you start, how are my Brian and Kyrie doing? I'm fine, Grandma. Kyrie. Grandma, I've been instructed not to speak or I will be sent to live in the projects. So you're just kicking all my grandkids out, huh? You know what, Pam? 
I am getting real sick and tired of everybody thinking they can keep disrespecting me. If you are sick, seek medical attention. If you are tired, find somewhere to rest. I will not be questioned in my own home. Savon stole my credit card and brought a girl into my bedroom. Not that what goes on in my house is any of your damn business, but one can only take so much, Pam. I must rather kick him out than put my hands on him. And the same thing goes for Kyrie's disrespectful ass. Kyrie, from this point on, you would not disrespect your mother or I will cancel your PlayStation Plus membership. I turned that shit off three months ago. So you mean to tell me you went behind my back and went to your grandmother and got her to turn it back on? I was not aware. Of course you weren't. Just like you weren't aware of the reason Savon got kicked out. I have raised these kids by myself without the help from your son or you. Nobody's going to tell me how to raise my damn kids. Now cancel his damn PlayStation membership. So you ain't got nothing to say? Bet. Say something, I'm gonna throw this water on you. You hit like a little bitch! Mira, what you gonna do? You got no job? You live with your mother? You got one kid and now my daughter's having your second? Ma'am, respectfully... No, Lo Hages! Don't say respectfully and then say something disrespectful. And what are you doing, huh? What are you doing? What kind of mother lets their son walk around impregnating everything? What is your name? Marisol. Okay, Lysol. Let me explain something to you. Now, I understand that you are upset that you did not teach your daughter about birth control or plan B, but there is no guarantee that this baby is my son. Mira, my daughter has been with your son and your son only. What are you raising? A reproductive machine? My son is 19 years old. I cannot control what he does outside of my house, just like you can't control who your daughter decides to get pregnant by. Now, you have exceeded the amount of times that you are allowed to express yourself in an aggressive manner. Tone it down. Oh, baby, you haven't seen aggressive. It if you or your son think you're going to have my daughter somewhere raising a newborn by herself, think again. I will end him. His first baby mama, her mama tried to put her foot down and prove a point. But the only foot that got put down was my foot on her neck. And she still has trouble turning to the left. Threaten my child again. Uh, Carmen, get us you brought me here to go to jail? You didn't explain to this woman that I would put my hands on her and her son? Bitch, you ain't touching nothing up in this house. You can reach out and try, but I promise you, you will end up on somebody's stretcher. Carmen, you really brought your mother to her funeral. That is crazy. Mami, who are you calling a bitch? I am loco. I will rip you apart. Start ripping then. Ma, that's enough. No, hell no, Savar. Get Carmen and her mama out of my house right now. You have met your match, Mr. Mika. It ain't a female on this planet that can match me. I have kids to feed. That is the only reason why your ass is still attached to that chair. Mommy, let's go. You'll be seeing more of me, Mr. Mika. When my daughter has my grandchild, I'm dragging your son to court. So drag him. Okay, great. So they met each other. Can we talk about the baby shower?
Uh, Tommy, I paid a lot of money for you to fly down here. What money are you talking about? Because I cashed out you $2,500 earlier this week because you said you ain't had no money. You gave her $2,500? Mama, I just gave you $1,700 because you couldn't pay your rent on time. What rent? She's been staying at Grandpa's house. The house that's paid off. The house that is paid off that she sold. You sold my granddaddy's house? Y'all forget that I'm the mama. And that that was my damn daddy's house that he left to me when he died so I can do whatever the hell I want to do with it. And about this little chump change that y'all gave oh, me. Oh, now it's chump change. Chump change that you called me 16 times in a row for within 15 minutes. And you listen here, Heifer. When I call you the first time, you answer. You don't have your mama calling you no 16 damn times. Tommy, what's this I hear about you sleeping with your niece? I ain't touched Desiree nasty ass. I ain't talking about Desiree. I'm talking about Tarika. Oh. I ain't touch her either. Also, my daughter's lying on you now, Tommy. I should hurt you right now. You are sick. That is your niece. I'm sick. Mama, did you know that every night that you went to work, Tamika and Tara would come in my room, give me snacks, turn up my TV, then go sleep with Earl? Oh my God. Really, Tommy? Really? You serious right now? So you get caught for doing something foul and now you want to call me and Tamika out. So it is true. Mama, please. Tommy is just trying to throw you off so you won't get on him about what he did. I already said I ain't touched that girl. Tarika is a hoe. She gonna sleep with whatever smiles at her. Tamika, you quiet. Your brother just accused you of sleeping with my ex-husband. I did. I did. I slept with him. I knew it. I knew it. You already knew this, though. But since you like hearing it, I'll say it again. I slept with your ex-husband five times before I moved out. Wow. Why not? You know what? I'm sick of this. Tanika, tell her the truth. But she can't handle the truth, Tara. You know that. And since you don't want to hold Tommy accountable for his disgusting actions towards his niece, you both can get the hell up out of my house. What really happened that night? You ain't ready to face that reality without blaming your daughters, mama. So until you're able to do that, I'll tell you what you want to hear. I did seduce him and then slept with him. Now you can continue to sleep peaceful at night. Tamika, I'm asking for the truth. Oh, mama. If only I believed that. But I don't. So I woke up one day and decided I wanted to sleep with your husband. That's what happened. Now let it go. Tamika, Carly, you want to let me use this closet to put my stuff in? Who the hell is this? I'm her stepdaughter, Shay. Stepdaughter? Hmm. Now, how old is this stepdaughter? Tommy, get your sick ass out of my house. Shay, use the upstairs closet in the hallway. Kendrick's stuff is in there. You let Kendrick stay here? You ain't kicked the boy out yet, Tamika? Whose house is this? Like, how do we... Did you take out the trash like I asked you to? You grounded me from all outdoors. Taking the trash requires me to go outdoors because the trash can is outdoors. So no, I didn't take the trash. Tara, I need you to take it down a couple of notches. My daughter called you gay. Okay, so what? That is no reason for you as a male to put your hands on her. I'm Tara, that is not what happened. Brian, what other reason do you have for putting your hands on my daughter? Tara, I don't know who the fuck you think you might be yelling at, but it ain't my child. So I'm going to ask you again. Take it down a couple of notches or it will get real aggressive around here. Now address me and not my son. I will respect you because you are my older sister. But I'd like to know, what corrective actions do you have planned for Brian's behavior? <laughs> I love the change in tone because you know fucking better. Now, 
according to my son and my other son and his girlfriend, Tarika, threw a drink on Brian. Auntie, the drink didn't even get a chance to land on him. He attacked me. What was I supposed to do? Sit here and let her throw a drink on me? Yes! Yes! Tamika, because he is a male, he should have stepped there and let his female cousin attack him. Okay, for one, none of my sons are going to ever allow anyone to attack them, male or female. But you know what? I feel like I'm asking the wrong questions here. What started all of this, Tarika? Brian was spreading rumors. About what? You know what? It's okay. I, I forgive you, Brian. Can we go, mama? No! You cannot go! You didn't set up here and created all this mess. So you're gonna tell your mama and me what this rumor is. Spit it out, Tarika. Why am I now being yelled at? He's the one who attacked me. I accused her of sleeping with family members. Mama, he lying! He lying, mama! I didn't sleep with nobody, mama! What you doing that nasty? He lying! He lying, mama! He lying! Now, Brian, that is a big accusation, son. So what proof of that do you have? Majority of our cousins, Jaquez, Tariq, Eric, Corey, Charles, Marcus, Brandon, Uncle Tommy. Uncle Tommy? My brother Tommy? Your Uncle Tommy? Tarika! Oh, I'm not done. Damien, Jerron, Britton. Oh, and Kyrie. Who? Come again? I know you ain't talking about my son, Tarika. I know he ain't talking about my, I, oh, 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 I know he ain't talking about my son, Tarika. I don't remember Kyrie. Kyrie! Savant, you are too old to be having dad's weekends. So what are you doing here? It's Savant, and I was hoping I could speak to my father. Anything you have to say to my husband, you can say in front of me. You ain't my dad, Karen. Where is he at? Well, he's at work. Something you clearly have no experience in. Savant, what's going on? I haven't seen you in almost a year. I thought you said he was at work. Honey, your son's here. Dad, can I please speak to you in private? No, you cannot. You are in my establishment and you will speak in front of me. Relax. So anything you got to say to me, you can say in front of my wife. My mom kicked me out. Well, that's too bad. But don't worry, my best friend, Caitlin, owns a homeless shelter. And if you leave right now, you might be able to catch them before they fill their last bed. I'll go ahead and give her a call and let her know you're on the way. Karen, you are not putting my son in a homeless shelter. Michael, oh my God. We can't just leave him out on the street. You're right, which is exactly why he'll be staying here with us. No! I mean, we have three children and only 10 bedrooms. Where would he sleep? We have no room, honey. <sighs> I'll clean out my office. You can sleep in there. Uh, Michael, you aren't asking the right questions here. Why were you kicked out in the first place, Savant? Well, I didn't have a job at the time, and my mom said that she got tired of taking care of me, so she kicked me out so she can save some money. Well, you know, this is my house, my rules. You will be getting a job so you can provide for your son. No exceptions. Ugh, fine. You can stay in your father's office. But, Savant, be mindful of what you wear when you're coming in and out of the house. This is an all-white neighborhood. They're not used to seeing... Niagara's. What? Blacks. There are black people in this neighborhood. Yeah, that cut the grass. But none of them own a home here. My mom actually lives up the street. Her entire house actually looks like this. I don't want to see any whores in my house. I don't want to see any of your boys from the hood in my house. You will not become a bad influence on my sons. I don't want them seeing that. Noted. Also, note this. When my parents are in town... 
I need you to dress up like a waiter. Karen, what the hell? Now, honey, you know that you're the only colored that my parents accept. My father has a bad heart. And if he sees another colored with a do-rag, he'll have a heart attack. Son, everything's gonna be okay, all right? And tomorrow I'll go and talk to your mother. No, no. I don't want her to know where I'm at. Well, that's too bad. I'm gonna have a conversation with her. I wanna rub in her face that her son was homeless and I took him off the street. I don't think she would wanna see you. So please, just leave it alone. It's fine. Um, Can my son visit from time to time? Oh, yes, that's good. Your son is black. Yes, yes. Oh my God. Oh my God, yes. Because... We can adopt him. We can adopt him. And I can tell all my friends I adopted a black baby. From Africa. Our kids are black. Michael. This is my last time telling you that my children are biracial. They're not black. You want to not address them as such. If you cannot say they're biracial, simply tell people that they are white. Never black. Savon, on 10 20, 2022, you were home when I was falsely accused by Brian of stealing Mama's car. Mama, Your Honor, can you please instruct the defendant to ask an actual question? I am asking a question, Your Honor. Savon, you were home with Jasmine watching TV. Objection. Cause for speculation. Sustained. Please ask an actual question, Kyrie. Savon, were you home that night and did you see me leave my room? I don't remember. Well, let me help you remember. You were home that night. With your door open, my room is across from yours. You would have seen me leave my room. Objection. Leading. Sustained. Did you see me leave my room? What do you mean? Your Honor, could you please instruct the witness to stop being a dumbass and answer my question? Answer the question, Savon. I didn't see you in your room. Yes, you did. Stop lying. You saw me in my room. Objection. Badgering. Badger these nuts, Brian. Sustained. Watch your mouth, Kyrie. Did you see me take mama's car keys? I don't remember seeing you in your room and mama's car keys were gone. Is that because you went looking for them with the intentions of stealing the car for yourself? Objection. Withdrawn. I have no further questions for this witness, Your Honor. Next witness. Jasmine. Yes, sir. Did you at any time see Savon take my mama's car keys? Objection. Relevance. Did you see me leave my room? I honestly was not paying attention to your room. Is that because you were too busy being bent over? Objection. Cause for speculation. Speculate these nuts, Brian. Objection. Badgering. I do know that me and Savon were in the house all night and we heard a car start up. But Kyrie was nowhere to be found. Lies! Your Honor, this witness has been coached into saying that. I want a mistrial. You're grounded. Kyrie, you're grounded. All right. Oh, okay. Hello. New flavor has been unlocked. Let's try it out. This can is a 10 out of 10. Highly recommend it. Mama, my phone off. Yeah, mine too. Interesting. Mine isn't. Can you call at and and ask them why it's off? How was your weekend? Um, not that interesting. You and Katrina didn't have a good time, you know, hanging out? Uh, we did. We had fun. Hmm. Interesting. You know, I called her mom because I wanted her to stop by the house before she went back to basic training. And her mom told me that she won't be back home until Thanksgiving. So I guess I'm busted too. What do you mean? We lied about our whereabouts and Kyrie must have told you. But mama, I'm grown. I can do whatever I want. Oh, then leave. To be honest, Savon, I'm getting real sick and tired of taking care of your grown ass. 
Get the fuck out already so I can save some damn money. Leave and go where? I have nowhere to go. Sure you do. You can go live with Shay and tell that little bitch the next time I see her, I'm taking her down. WWE style. Because I know damn well you didn't steal my credit card and spent money on that little whore. Mama. I said I wasn't going to kick you out ever again. But you know what? Effective immediately, I want you out of my damn house. All because I stole your credit card? And because your sick ass decided to lay Shay's ass down in my bedroom and didn't even have the decency to replace my damn sheets. Alright, that was a mistake. But you know what? You do this, you'll never see your grandson again. Huh? <laughs> you forgot that me and your baby mama, we're co-parents. You are just a part-time babysitter. Wow, mama. Wow, Savon, you stole my credit card and left stains on my sheet. You're dirty, and I am ashamed to be your mother right now. Mama! Brian! Your phone will be off for the rest of the year. Your outside activities are non-existent. The only time you will see the light of day is when you go to school, and I will be dropping you off and picking you up. Your social life is now canceled, along with your relationship to that damn boy. How's that eye? <clears throat> if they fight again, I'ma beat your ass. Because you're the reason we are doing this again. And I don't have time for it. What did you want me to do, Tamika? Not tell you and have y'all help raise a child that's not yours? And I want you to swallow that bass in your voice and control your neck movements before I break it. <sighs> okay. No, like, can we just read the results? And you shut up too because we wouldn't be in this mess if you didn't decide to populate early. Rashad Blackwell. It was determined that the DNA you submitted was 100% not a match. Woo! Hmm. But I knew that. You can go. No, I want to hear Savon's results. Rashad, get your ass out of my house. And don't let her ask you twice because then there goes your other eye. Savon Jackson. It was determined that the DNA you submitted was 100% a match. Yes! Yes! <sighs> Look, I am so sorry I put y'all through that again. We are going to move forward, Versace. Because you were turning a new leaf. And I was starting to like your ass. I know, but it won't be any surprises from now on. From either of you, because I can't take no more. The next surprise is going six feet under. All I bet us. Oh. <laughs> what is that? What you thought I got rid of? But some better. Lo guarde. Okay. You heard what I said, Tamika. You're going to be an abuela again. Now, I don't know Spanish, but I'm sure that meant grandmother. Savannah, if I die of a heart attack today because of you, who is going to take care of Louis Vuitton? And whatever the hell that is in her stomach. Hmm. Who is going to take care of your kids? Who is going to provide for your kids? Huh? Do you know how to not populate? Is it hard? Mama, 
It's not mine. Shut up! I'm getting too old for this shit. You better hope that baby's not yours. You taco eating bitch. You went and gave my son a sibling without my consent. Come here, Maria. Come here. Stop around the corner. Come here. The bottom line is your son is disruptive and manipulative. What proof of that do you have? I don't need any proof, Mrs. Jackson. I'm telling Mr. you. Mr. Bush, you're asking me to believe your word over my son's. I'm going to need hardcore evidence. Well, how about you look at him and ask him? Kyrie, did you do these things he's accusing you of? Mom, I would never. This man is clearly deranged and delusional. You listen here, you little brat. Mr. Boyce, I thought you liked me. Why are you yelling at me? Why did you call me a brat? Mr. Boyce. I wonder how Principal Smith feel about you showing up to my home unannounced to degrade my son. Mrs. Jackson, what corrective actions do you have for your son's behavior? Well, first I'm going to request that he be removed from your class immediately because I do not like the aggression you have towards him. He has made my life a living hell for the last nine months. And I am just now hearing about it. Mr. Boyce, I apologize if you're upset because I said that your hair looks like a bird's nest. I didn't mean it. Well, Jasmine, you have a lovely home. Thank you. I'm so glad that I finally got you guys over. Is it just you here by yourself? No, ma'am. I live with both my parents. Interesting. What are your parents like? Oh, they're amazing. My dad is a lawyer and my mom is a principal. You'll get along with them just fine. My baby sure know how to pick them. Uh, Jasmine, where's your bathroom? It's down the hall to the left. Okay. Well, I'll be right back. What you guys in here doing? Nothing, mom. Do you remember Savan? I do. How have you been? I've been good, Miss James. Jasmine, I have never seen a toilet that had a faucet in it. <clears throat> Tamika Jackson? Kyrie Jackson's mother? Jasmine, this is your mother? Yes, ma'am. Do you guys know each other? This is the loudmouth ghetto parent I told you about who came into my school because I expelled her child for using profanity. You forgot the part where when I came up there, your scary ass refused to talk to me woman to woman. I would not get off my chariot to speak to any parent who is upset because their child is being punished for their behavior. Lady, you have no proof my child used profanity. Kyrie came into my office and admitted it. Yeah, right. You probably pressured my baby into taking the blame. So you're one of those ignorant ass parents who doesn't think their child does anything wrong? Mom! Jasmine, you said that your parents were amazing. I'm assuming you're talking about your father because your mother is horrible. Savon, you seem like a fine young man. You must get your charm from your father because your mother is ghetto. Bitch, don't get stretched out in your own home. I own too many weapons. I promise I won't get touched. Oh, well then go get these weapons you speak of. Go retrieve them. Mom. I'd like to see them. Mom. No, I I'd like to see them. Go get them, Veronica. Mama, chill. Listen, I already kicked your son out of my school, and now I'm kicking you out of my house. Veronica, you have yet to get these weapons that you speak of. Where are the weapons? So you're refusing to leave? Where are the weapons? If you do not leave my home right now, I will make sure your son doesn't get enrolled in any school in Texas. You will have to homeschool him. Mom! Oh, you really lost your motherfucking mom! Mom, calm down! Bitch. Go mom. get him, mom! Go get him! Mom, mom, mom go relax. get him! Mom! I'm waiting! Get out! Jasmine, it's been nice, but your mother is the reason why you'll never see my son again! Let's go, Savon! Hey, Brian, mama asked me to cut Miss Diana's grass, but I ain't doing that shit, so I'm gonna need you to do it. Kari, leave me the fuck alone. No, I just asked you to do something. Yeah, but mama asked you to do it. She did. She did ask me to do it, but I I'm not doing it. You are. I'm not. Now get the hell out of my face, hoe. But you are, Brian. I will turn your whole world upside down right now. Okay, so turn it, bitch. 
<clears throat> you are really testing my patience. I overheard a little conversation last night about you trying to sneak your boyfriend in tonight after mama goes to work, but we both know I will fuck that up. So go cut her grass like I asked you to. Well, I can fix that. He just won't be sneaking in tonight. Mama! <sighs> I'ma cut Miss Diana's grass for Kyrie. I don't give a damn who cuts it. It just better get cut. Okay. Thanks, bro. Fuck you. Stop playing with my top, Brian. Ain't nobody playing with nothing. How you mad at my friends for being loud? I don't want to hear you and your friends laughing and screaming at 2 o'clock in the morning when I'm trying to sleep. Just like I don't want to hear you taking down somebody's daughter every other night. And keep your friends away from my door. Why are they knocking at my door and playing? Now, I'd be wrong if I open that bitch and knock somebody out. And you would have got jumped. They played a little knock-knock prank. Get out your feelings. Keep them away from my door or all of y'all getting fucked up. You clearly ain't gonna do shit. It just happened. And what did you do? Brought me in mama's room to cry about it. I'm letting you know in front of mama that if it happens again, I'm dropping you and your friends. So drop us. Brian, keep your friends in your room where they cannot visit anymore. Okay, and tell him to keep the hoes out of the bathroom we share. You ain't controlling a damn thing around here, especially who comes in and out of my bathroom. Let me catch a hoe in that bathroom and I'ma lace her ass up. These bitches are out of bounds. They are out of place. Keep them in your room. Keep your RuPaul's drag face ass friends in yours. Half my friends are females and won't give you the time of day. Have several seats and some water. I don't want to hear this shit. Y'all both bring unwanted problems to me and expect me to fix it. No, I'm going to give them right back. And you know what? Neither one of you can have company for the rest of the month. Nobody coming in my damn house. I'm in here trying to watch Waiting to Exhale. Y'all know how I am about my movie. Do not interrupt. So what type of time we finna be on? I don't know what my mama got going on and what homeless shelter she retrieved you from, but the same shit applies. Stay out of our way. And if I don't? So you don't remember what happened last time all four of us were in the kitchen together? Y'all scary asses had to jump me because one-on-one -on -one was impossible. You were talking unlimited shit to all three of us, so it warranted a triple attack in one. Y'all really ain't about that life. All y'all finna do is talk shit, jump, then get grounded. Okay, so now you know what type of time we finna be on. Well, at this time, this house is a mess, so clean it. All of y'all, or I'ma tell y'all mama y'all not listening to me. Boy, you must have forgot. We don't give a fuck if you tell our mama. Why you acting brand new, Greg? It's a brand new year and a brand new Greg. Y'all real life scared of y'all mama. So disrespect me while I'm here and I will expose everything y'all do in this house. So you're gonna snitch during the pillow talk? Absolutely. All sneaky shit will get reported if I get disrespected. What y'all down here doing? Oh, nothing, baby. The boys were just about to wash the dishes and clean the house. Mama, I have some information for you. I'm listening. Brittany has been lying to you. Be more specific, Kyrie. She never got kicked out of her mama's house. She's only here for Savon, and she's blackmailing Brian to help her. You said that she was blackmailing your brother. What does she have on him? Mama, the bottom line is that this girl played you. She will be dealt with accordingly. Now, what does she have on your brother? Kyrie, you already know how I'm going to come. It's about to get real physical around here. So I suggest you start talking or there goes your ass along with Brittany and Brian's. Brian has a 57 year old sugar daddy that lives in Atlanta. I'd like to be granted full immunity from all further action from you. Close my door on your way out. Kyrie, you want to tell me why you went to a house party after the movies after I only authorized you to go to the movies? Mama, literally all my friends were there. Where the fuck did you initially ask me to go? To the movies. Correct. So who told you you can go to a party without notifying me? Casey's mom was there and she was supervising us. I haven't knocked you unconscious yet. So I'm having a hard time understanding why you are not answering my questions directly. What Mama is trying to say is you should have asked her first. Did she ask you for any help? No, but if your friends jump off a cliff, are you going to jump off one too? Exactly. Oh, so you're letting him help parent now. <laughs> um, do you know how many parties this man throws when you're at work? Bitch, take your L. Oh my God. You can never go out by yourself. Excuse me. Am I not standing here? Watch your mouth, Brian. Because guess what? Now you're both grounded. <sighs> you should have just sat there and stayed on your phone. Do y'all think I'm a joke? 
No one said that. Did I ask for you to speak? You asked a question, Mama. In your mind, it sounds like a question. In my mind, I'm still speaking and I am not ready for you to speak. So how do I know if it's a question or not? Keep talking, Brian, and I'm going to hit Savon. Mama, you do realize I'm 19 now. You're right. You're right. You're 19. So I'll be squaring up with you and tap dancing on your brother's asses. I didn't drink your Stella Rosa. I do not recall asking who drunk it. I just know that it's gone. That's a problem for me. Y'all have five seconds to tell me who's going first. And if no one answers, I'll just start from oldest to last. One, two, five. <laughs> now try again, because I said I didn't drink it. Like, you... Savon, you are very fast. But I wonder how quickly you can stop these. Greg, it was Greg. Greg! Why are you yelling? Did you, did you drink my Stella? I ain't drink no damn Stella! Maybe I'll buy you some more. <clears throat> One of these days, Savon, I'm gonna beat your ass. You think because you're 19 that mama can't touch you, but I can. Gregory. You go in my Stella again without my permission, and I'm going to call your fifth baby mama and give her your social security number. Now, you said you were going to buy me some? Yes. With what fucking money? Go upstairs and get my purse. Uh, baby, what if they out of the flavor you like? Then I would start worrying about what Latanya is going to do with your social security number. Look, baby, baby. I I'm... want my damn Stella tonight. Take the boys with you. They can be very helpful. I just got off the phone with my friend Janice who said that her son Devin put his hands on her because she wouldn't let him go out with his friends. Damn, is she okay? Mama. I had to stop and think about what I would do if I was in that situation with the three of y'all. But you're not in that situation. Oh, I know. I just feel the need to tell y'all what would happen if I was in that situation. Mama, is your friend okay? I would line it up with all three of y'all. Now, as a matter of fact, all three of y'all would have to line it the fuck up with me if y'all ever thought about raising a finger at me. Wow. How exactly did we get here again? Be glad that we are just here and not there because ain't nobody gonna be calling a check on me. They're gonna be calling a check on y'all. Are you done? Did you get it all out? And then she said she called his daddy to come handle him. What a weak ass bitch. You see, I don't need y'all's daddy to handle y'all. I'm a tall bitch. I can handle all three of y'all by myself. Is this really happening? I pushed all three of y'all out naturally. No pain medicine because I'm really that bitch. I wish, I wish one of y'all would. I wish one of y'all would. But we are not going to. Ever. I'm glad you know. I'm glad you know. Jesus. Not even him or God can come down and save you from me if you ever thought about putting your hands on me. Ma. You know what? I don't think y'all hear me. 
I don't think y'all understand. So we finna practice. What? We finna practice. I'm gonna show y'all what's gonna happen. Savon, get up. Get up and raise your hands at me. Let me show you what's gonna happen. Get up. Brian, what are you doing? Mama finally let you out your room? Did you come down here to piss at somebody else's tea? I just came down here to study. Oh, would you like some piss tea while you're studying? Kari, I've already apologized to you and right now I'm in the process of changing how I react to things when I'm upset. I'm learning how to be more calm. I don't give two shits about you wanting to be calm. And what did you apologize to me about? I forgot, refresh my memory. Peeing in your cup. Mm. You sick fuck. I would beat your ass, but mama has already done that. Okay, are you done? I haven't even started, bitch. Mama asked me to babysit the twins because she didn't know if you were gonna, you know, piss in their sippy cups and shit. Can you leave me alone? Please. No, the fuck I cannot. So guess what? You'll be babysitting instead of me because I have better things to do with my life. Harry, clearly you are trying to get a rise out of me and it's not going to happen. I am not going to do something that mama told you to do. Yes, you is. Or I'll tell your boyfriend you like pissing in people's cups and shit. That's right. Inhale, exhale because you damn sure ain't gonna do shit. So go ahead. Asa, asa. Oh, the universe gave me a sign looking ass. Did the universe tell you to piss in my cup? Shut your motherfucking ass up! Shut your motherfucking ass up! All you do is run your fucking mouth and I will rip you the fuck apart, bitch! All right, now I know y'all staying for the weekend, but don't be loud, don't be in here breaking nothing, and do not bother me or knock on my door unless somebody is dying. Yes, ma'am, we got it. We gonna be quiet, Aunt Tamika. And Brian will get y'all blankets for tonight. And y'all can just sleep in my room. Kyrie, you remember your cousins, Corey and Carisha? They're going to be staying with us for the weekend. What's up, Kyrie? Corey, Carisha, didn't y'all say the next time y'all see me, it was on site? Uh, Kyrie, that was almost two years ago. Did you think the threat was going to expire? We let that go, though. Okay, well, I haven't let it go. I'm still holding on to it. Kyrie, baby, we're going to have a good weekend, okay? Yes, after I catch this fade that they say they were going to give to me, they can have a good weekend. Kyrie, you were talking about us first. I might have. I might have. But then you said you wanted to fight when you saw me, so what are we doing? <laughs> I'm not going to disrespect my auntie's house like that. <sighs> well, I would disrespect the hell out of my mama's house, so who's swinging first? Are you serious right now? The bottom line is neither one of us are going to fight you. We are way older than you. <sighs> See, I don't really do too much of the back and forth because I don't know how to communicate properly. So somebody starts swinging before I do. Kyrie, clearly y'all can hash this out. What is hash? Like a hash brown? I'm not hungry. Ree, all of that is in the past. And I would like to dwell on it. We have matured since then. Well, I, I can't even spell mature, but that's fine. Y'all scary, y'all don't wanna fight. It's not that we scary, we just don't care. But online, y'all was real adamant about getting to me and here I am and I still haven't been touched. We're not mad about it anymore. What part of that don't you understand? Y'all scary. Y'all scary. Kyrie, I could fight you if I wanted to. Okay. You said you was going to do that. I need you to do that. And I'm going to give you five seconds to do that. Really? Five. Kyrie. Three. Kyrie, you better not. Kyrie! Hey, Dad. Hey, Koi. What happens if you drink bleach? Why would you want to drink bleach, Koi? Because I already drank it. Why? I just I just wanted to know what it tastes like. Dad, do you want me to call the ambulance? Sure. Okay, so let me grab my things so we can get going. Oh, it's cool, no rush. Um, I'm sorry, what's going on here? Mama, were you stepping out somewhere with an unidentified man?
Oh, my bad. My name is Alex. No, no, no. Tamika, he does not speak or think. I need him to just listen. Saban. Mama, we have not decided to address him as of yet, so please answer the following questions for him. Hey, boys. Um, We were just going to breakfast. Well, I have a problem with that because who is we? Savon, Kyrie, help me out. Does this unidentified man have a name, mama? This is Alex and he is taking me to breakfast. See, the problem I have with that is, I don't know Alex. Savon, Kyrie, do y'all know who Alex is? I do not, me neither. Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Alex. Um, I'm 27 years old. Sir, as of right now, you do not have the floor. Mama, what is happening? And did he just say he was 27 years old? Mama, really? Look, is your mama not allowed to have a life? Ah, shit. The real question is, do you love yours, Alex? Alex. I am so sorry. Can we reschedule? That is a great idea, mama. We need time to collect data before we can let him step out with you. As a matter of fact, Brian, I'm not feeling him. He came up in here kind of cocky. Yeah, I don't really like how he came in here and started speaking and he wasn't even spoken to. Yeah, and that cheap ass cologne he got from Ross or Burlington is offensive. You know what? I have heard all facts and evidence presented here today from all parties, and I will now take a short recess and return with my decision. I have reached a decision. This man must pay a fine of $500 each to myself and my brothers for entering our house and speaking out of turn. Are you serious right now? Mama, if he speaks again, I will hold him in contempt. After all payments have cleared, he is allowed at one breakfast date. After that, he will cease to exist. Alex, let me walk you out. Yeah, I'm gonna head out. 